Let's get started with Revit MEP 2017. The first thing I'd like to look at when we open up Revit is what we're confronted with here. This is the startup dialog. It's broken down into a couple different sections. The first section we'll look at is the projects. Of course, we can open, go to new. We can create a new project based on some of these predefined templates, or obviously we see that we can open up our four last projects that we've had open. Now under projects, what I'd like to do, let's go ahead and click on new project. If we click the drop down here, we'll see this is basically a copy of what we see here. But if we click on browse, now we see we have a bunch of default Revit templates that we can use. Now, your company probably has their own predefined templates that you're mapped to. They also probably have these buttons mapped to a template that we'd use for your specific company. My company definitely does. If you're the one in charge of this, you wanna make sure that you map your company out to be to this directory, or this directory wants to be your predefined templates. For this course, we're gonna use the Autodesk Revit predefined templates. So I'm gonna click cancel. I'm gonna click cancel here. Now you see that it's broken down into tabs, but all these tabs are pretty much grayed out right now, and there's not a lot we can do but we're gonna use most of these tabs throughout this course. After looking at all this, you can go down to Autodesk Revit. This brings you to Revit homepage and the resources. You can actually get quite a few videos over here. Lynda.com is included. If you click the drop down, additional resources, and you go third-party learning content, you go right back in a full circle to Lynda.com. Now what I'd like to do under projects, I'm gonna click on new. I'm going to click Browse. I'm going to find Electrical Default Metric because this is what I'd like to start with. And I'd like to click Open. Now I want to click OK. This brings us into Revit. Right now, Revit doesn't know what it is. Mine says Project 7. Yours might say Project 1. It could say Project 50. Either way, it doesn't matter. But what we want to do is come over here and click the Save button. Notice the toolbar that it's on. This is called the Quick access toolbar and again we're going to use this quite a bit throughout this course go ahead and click on the save button and i want to browse to where i'm keeping my exercise files and i'm simply going to call this electrical project now before we hit enter or save click on the options button the maximum backups is three type in a one and hit ok and click save now what I'd like you to do is hit the Save button again and click the Open button. Now what we're going to see is once we hit Save, it creates a copy. I'm not a huge fan of how Revit does this, actually, because you can see it from the actual project browser. Because Electrical Project is a .rvt, that's a Revit project. The reason I had us turn our number of backups to only one is every time you hit the Save button, it makes a backup called 001, then it makes a backup called 0002, then it makes a backup called 0003. Every time you hit the save button, it will do that. Once you hit it four times, it overwrites 00001, and it keeps going through there. What I find is a lot of times people accidentally will open this file. So generally when I see these backups, I usually right click on it and simply delete it. Go ahead and hit cancel here. All right, there we go. That's how you get started creating an electrical project.